Hi, this is the fifth video in the series, the playlist, where we're looking at factorising equations where we've got a coefficient of x squared, so we've got 2x squared. Now you could do this by trial and error if you wanted to, but there is a technique, and if you look at the other videos as well, I'm going to use exactly the same technique again to be able to uh, solve this particular factorisation. And the way that we do that is we look at multiplying this coefficient multiplied by 10. Well that's going to give me 20. And then what I'm looking for is for two factors of 20 that when I multiply them together make 20 and when I add them together make minus 9. Now there's lots of factors of 20 so it could be 20 and 1 but that wouldn't work because that's going to make me 21. Um, the two that I'm going to actually choose is going to be minus 4 and minus 5 because when I multiply minus 4 and minus 5 together I get positive 20 and when I add them together I get minus 9. Okay so now I've got my two factors it's a case now of rewriting this particular equation. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to write this as 2x squared minus 4x minus 5x plus 10. And what I've got there is these middle two numbers here. If I gathered them together, I would get this minus 9. So I haven't actually changed the equation at all. I've just rewritten it in a form that's useful to me. And then the technique is to factorise the first two terms. I'm going to factorise these first two terms for 2x. And I can write that as x minus 2 in the brackets. Okay, if you're not sure about that, please do have a look at the other videos as well. But basically all I've done is I've looked at these two terms and I've said the common number to both, the highest common factor to both the numbers is 2. And then also I can factorise for x as well because I've got x squared there and x here. So I can take x out. So then I've got 2x multiplied by x minus 2. And I can do exactly the same with the second two terms. And this time I'm going to multiply uh, factorise for minus 5, so that's going to be give me x. Now be careful here, it's going to give me x minus 2 again. So just let's be very careful about these negative numbers. So let's just check that. I've got minus 5 times x is going to give me minus 5x. And then I've got minus 5 times minus 2. Well, a minus times a minus is a positive, so that's going to give me positive 10. OK, so now I'm in a position where I've got two common bracketed terms, which is x minus 2 there and x minus 2 here. So I could rewrite that as 2x minus 5 and then brackets x minus 2. And that's the factorization of this particular uh, expression. I hope that's OK for you. Please don't hesitate to add comments below. I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other videos within this playlist, and I'll give you a few more examples. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.